What's up, what's going on people of YouTube? It's your boy M. Lee, the hobby collector, and man, I think I'm in love. Like, really. I love this tripod. There's not that many videos of this in particular tripod on YouTube, but I'm here to tell you, if you're looking for a tripod around 200 bucks, and that's your limit, get this tripod. Don't go with anything else. The Vari Zoom, never heard of it in my life, you know, I was scared to get it, you know. But, this bad boy is a beast and it's also maybe because I stepped up from a you know somewhat cheap tripod not really all that cheap but cheap enough to a full aluminum fluid head tripod there are even even some professionals that will use this tripod it's nice and fluid I mean, I didn't did video. I can just like turn. You don't even need the rubber band effect. Look how look how responsive this is. Like, it is, oh man, it's like super smooth. The release plate. A lot of people complain about it. That's the only complaints this thing I've got. I love it. To release this bad boy, you gotta unlock it, turn that, and push the plate out. And to put it on, you have to push this in, turn that and push it in and then lock it in now what this knob over here does is for the people that forget to lock their tripod in so you automatically gotta turn this in order to put this on let's say you forget to lock your tripod in and you're panning forward and your tripod slips but it doesn't come off that's what this is for or you're panning down and your tripod slips or your, uh, your, your fluid head and your camera slips it just stops right there that's what this this is a safety then you lock it in I just did all this with one hand so it's not that bad of a deal a lot of people say it's hard to get off fast if you're trying to get your tripod off I mean your camera off the tripod fast but I don't see no problems with it it's like bam bam slam just like that <laughs> it's easy I mean what what do people complain about these days it's like people complain about some of the most littlest things that almost stops people from buying a product you know that's super simple. That's simple to take off. The bubble level is right here. Let's say you don't like the head. You know, these legs are real good. Let's say you want to replace the head. Bam, take the head off. This is one of the tripods where you can take the whole little head off and buy a, a good head. The legs are real sturdy. Even when you got it stretched all the way out. I heard some people say the legs wasn't all that sturdy, but sturdy with the legs stretched all the way out. Well, maybe you're trying to put on a 25-pound video camera on top of something that supports only... 10 to 15 pounds which it says on the box and everything inside the instructions and everything and I use a DSLR which I'm using right now and the most I have on this bad boy is a camera light and my Rode microphone and probably a slightly heavy lens but that's it and this bad boy works like a champ so I just was inspired to make this video because it's not that many on YouTube, first of all. And I just had this tripod for less than a week. And I've already been using it for church videos, for outdoor videos, for events, filming for people and stuff like that. And I can't believe how smooth this bad boy is, only for 200 bucks. Got the extended pole that extends down. This works very good. You can, you know, be further back and it, and it makes the panning that much better. So with that said, I'm going to end this video. It's been your boy M. Lee, the hobby collector. I got this tripod for $189.90 on Amazon.com or $189.98 on Amazon.com. Free shipping. I got Amazon Prime, so I added four bucks to that and got one day shipping. And that's that, people. I say it's worth the buy. It's worth every last dime. If you're not believing me, go look at any reviews on YouTube. I mean, yeah, on, not YouTube, but on uh, Amazon.com, on Google. Everybody will say, tell you, this tripod is a good tripod. Only the super extreme professionals that make about 60000 a month will tell you, oh, man, this tripod is horrible. You know, you should get a tripod legs that cost $9,000 and a tripod head that cost $55,000, and that's the best tripod to get. But who, ha who has all that money? And, of course, I'm playing around right now, but, you know, that's pretty much what they be saying. So, with that said, it's been your boy, M. Lee, the hobby collector. And I'm out. Peace.